I don't think. But uh, my idea, people think I'm anti-chess. No, I'm not anti-chess. I'm pro-chess. I'm trying to keep it alive. It's very. It's just the reverse. It's very. I'm not coming up with anything right. uh, radical at all. I asked two Icelandic grandmasters the other day, yeah. who was the best chess player ever yeah, yeah. in the history of chess, yeah, yeah. and they both said they contemplated. And I asked them, objectively speaking, and they both said Bobby, Bobby Fischer yeah. is the best player yeah. ever. Do you agree with that or something? Well, I want to get back to Fisher Random. Do you want to answer this one? Uh, Are you the best player ever that ever was? Well, I'm obviously, I think so, right? Yeah. I mean, during the match, uh, uh, you, you uh, beat time out of seven uh, to zero. You beat yeah. Larsen six to zero. Nobody but, has but, but first of all, you have to understand something about chess. Of course, uh, I'm better than Morphy. Why am I better than Morphy? I know, he, he, I don't say I have more talent than him, I just know much more theory, right? If he came back today and he could not open a book, let's say, right? He, he would do badly against, uh, even against masters, maybe. That has nothing to do with his talent, though, right? So when you say, I'm better than so, uh, doesn't mean anything because of all this theory in chess. But now, if you were to say, am I the most talented player, that's something else. Are you the most talented player? Well, again, I think so. But maybe, you know, that's just my opinion. You know, Morphy was fantastic, Capablanca was fantastic. What about later? World champions, Kasparov? As I said, I don't like to delve too much into the old chess right. because I hate it so much. I feel by delving into it, I'm, I'm promoting it in some way. But then, I don't want to promote this goddamn game. But this, but my but only interest in the old chess, I have one interest, only one interest, to expose the prearrangement. People are living in a dream world. But don't you think it's not paradoxical coming from the best player that ever was? And now saying it is the most... Uh, the life is like that, no? Yeah. Life there, is, there is one question that, I, that I've always wanted to ask you, given the opportunity. It's not really paradoxical. Yeah. Chess is, a, is basically a search for truth, right? So I'm searching for the truth. The truth is chess is no good anymore. Okay. So that's an honest on the table. Huh? On the it, table. It, on? on the table, when you're playing the chess. Chess is no good, and it hasn't been a good game objectively for 150 years since all this theory. It was a good game maybe 200 years ago in the time of, um, of, um, you know, who's that guy who, uh, who learned, who developed the pawns uh, theory? What's his name? Uh, the Frenchman. So you're saying that already when you became world champion, that already then, by then, it was a bad game. Yes, yes. Yes, it was a bad game, but I, uh, but, but on, the other, on the other hand, it wasn't as bad as today. No comparison, but it was a bad game. But at the time, I was uh, fired with ambition because to, to win, and I did not, I was willing to uh, overcome all of these uh, idiotic obstacles in the way of a, uh, that block a talented person from uh, winning. But now, you see, what, what, as, the, as you get older, right? What do they say? Uh, you have to get, um, what is the point? As you get older, you, if you don't get better, you have to get smarter, no? Yeah, yeah. I'm much smarter now than I was then, you know? Much, much smarter. Now, I, I, I don't want to uh, do things the hard way. Why do things the hard way when there's an easier, better way? Did you gradually, uh, you know, well, you, you, you were quoted as a young man saying... The old chess is you're banging your head against the wall with this theory that you are... 
you were trying to find some little improvement on move, you know, 18 or 20. It's ridiculous. It gets harder and harder and harder. You need more and more computers. You need more and more people working for you. You, you know, and less for and less talent. Yeah, and less and less uh, creative. Yeah, you know, it's ridiculous. Enjoyment, everything. Why? Why? Did you gradually start to hate chess, or did it come suddenly? Oh, that's a, that's a good question again. Did I gradually? I think it, it came gradually, but then at a certain point, I mean, I was hating it, but I didn't know it, you know what I mean? Because I was still trying to make it work, you know? But then now I realize I, I was gradually hating it, you know, all along.